it was a quiet evening in 1968. My young eyes glued to the box it is in our living room. The Pink Panther show was in full swing, its whimsical animation providing a welcome respite from the usual humdrum of my adolescent life. Suddenly, the screen blinked, and a disturbing image flickered into view. It was a tall, emaciated humanoid figure, its skin a sickly green. In a monotonous voice, it uttered a series of cryptic messages, its words echoing through the silence. As the figure spoke, unsettling images began to flash on the screen. A blood-stained robot with glowing eyes stalked an abandoned laboratory, its metallic body creaking ominously. A monstrous furry hand reached out from a doorway, its claws glistening in the dim light. I gasped in horror as a lost cartoon played out before my eyes, a Mickey Mouse-like hamster character meeting a gruesome demise. The air grew thick with tension as strange discordance music blared from the speakers. Deep guttural laughter filled the room, sending shivers down my spine. I reached for the remote, desperate to turn off the nightmare, but my hands were frozen in place. As abruptly as it had begun, the hijacking ended with a test card and a message informing us that there had been an error with the broadcast. Stunned and trembling, I showed my parents what I had seen, presenting them with a photograph I had managed to take with an old camera that lay on the table. They were understandably concerned and arranged for me to see a therapist. As I relived the horrifying experience, I couldn't shake the feeling that the creature on the screen had been real, its cryptic words forever etched into my mind. Haunted by the nightmare that night, I drifted into a troubled sleep, the images from the hijacking forever ingrained in my nightmares.